Hi, I'm Barry McGuire, and this is part three of our three-part detailing tips video series on car waxing. In part one, we explained in detail how to repair your paint finish for car waxing. In part two, we showed you how to apply and wipe off car waxes to achieve show car perfect results. Let me ask you a question. Even while you've been enjoying the results of your car wax, have you ever wondered, maybe there's a better product I should be using? Well, if so, how would you like to remove all doubt? All it takes is a little time and a black car. If you have a pure black paint finish and you have properly washed and prepped it with the appropriate products, you have the perfect test surface for comparing car waxes side by side. The only paint color that works for testing washes, cleaners, polishes, and waxes is pure black. Even black metallics don't work. Pure black paint finishes separate the men from the boys when it comes to creating crystal clear reflections and deep, vibrant color. That's why all of our company vehicles are black and our competitors almost never demonstrate their products on black paint. Black paint finishes show all the flaws that must be removed before you can have a show car perfect paint finish. For those of you who have black cars, wash and prep them and get ready to have some fun testing two products side by side. Car waxes are best applied by using 100% cotton terry cloth or fine foam applicator pads. When testing two products, it's critically important that you dedicate a separate applicator for each product to avoid cross-contamination. Predetermine an imaginary line of demarcation between the two products you're about to apply. Then apply one product at a time, beginning with the application of product along that imaginary line and then working the product into the surface, forming a square approximately one foot in diameter. Work the product in different directions to make certain that there is consistent coverage. Before wiping off that product, apply the second product with a separate applicator, beginning with the application of this product along that same imaginary line, without crossing over and mixing the two products together, which would nullify the results. Once car wax is applied, it needs sufficient time to cure on the finish before wipe off. To determine the optimum time for wiping off any car wax, simply swipe the car wax residue with the tip of your finger. If the product smudges, it's not ready to be wiped off. When gloss immediately appears with a touch of your fingertip, you can begin wiping off your car wax. Here again, your choice in tallying is critically important. Through the years, the only correct choice has been deep pile 100% cotton terry cloth tallying. Any mix of synthetic fibers in your terry cloth will scratch the finish and reduce absorbency. And the deep file cushions the surface and protects against particulates that can get trapped between the smoothness of a paint finish and the smoothness of a cloth, like a cloth diaper, and scratch the finish. But I have a secret to tell you. After recommending 100% cotton terry cloth toweling all of my life, I've switched to our new Supreme Shine microfiber wiping cloths that we have specifically made for car guys who want perfect car show winning paint finishes. I have to tell you, these cloths are amazing and take clarity and gloss to an entirely new level. Look at the depth and clarity of this paint finish. That's what we call a show car perfect paint finish. For the purpose of testing, the key is to use exactly the same type but separate applicator and wipe off cloths for both products. The only variable you want is the products themselves. Wipe the first product off, breaking the surface with the first side of the cloth and then turning to a clean portion of the cloth for the final wipe off. Again, make certain that you don't cross the line and mix the two products. After the first product is completely wiped off down to a clear finish, repeat the wipe off process with a second product using the same type of separate wipe off cloths. Again, wipe the product down completely, removing all residue. Now it's time for your eyes to go to work. With your car in a garage or in the shade, Look directly into one of the two panels as if it were a mirror, and then cross the line looking into the second panel as if it were a mirror. By positioning your body at the center line of demarcation, you can easily rock back and forth comparing the two mirror images. Now here's what you're looking for. The first thing you want to evaluate is clarity. As you move back and forth between the two separate panels, look into each one as if it is a mirror, which one has the clearest image? It helps to look at the exact image of your face and your eyes to help make this choice. And in case you're wondering, this particular test is between McGuire's Next Generation Tech Wax on the right and a highly advertised car wax that is currently claiming to be far superior to McGuire's on the left. The next thing you want to evaluate is depth of color. Assuming the same position of rocking back and forth, which paint is blacker? It's amazing how many different shades of black can be created on the same black paint finish. 
We often have people tell us that their car was black until they applied McGuire's to a small section, which made the rest of the car look gray. And you know what? Even our cleaner wax, which was formulated by my dad over 30 years ago and is our best value wax, outperforms this new car wax. It says it's better than McGuire's and sells for more than twice the price. Unfortunately, protection is the one attribute of appearance car care that can't be seen. No one looks at a paint finish and says, wow, look at that protection. Durability has to be experienced. And with time-lapse photography, we can show you just how much longer our car waxes last. But we'll save that for another video. And before we close, I want to show you the latest electronic imaging that can objectively analyze for the very first time the side-by-side -side performance of competitive car waxes. Earlier today, we taped a conversation that I had with our head of research and development about this amazing piece of equipment and what it actually sees. Let's look in on that conversation. We're here with Gary Silvers, the Vice President of Research and Development for McGuire's. And beside me here is this new scientific instrument. I affectionately call it Gary's toy because, Gary, you're having an awful lot of fun with this. This is not only a toy, Barry. This is actually a very sophisticated <laughs> scientific instrument that we use to study and analyze surfaces. What this does is it shines a certain kind of light that we can adjust and we can see the amount of scatter, we can see the amount of reflectivity and also the uh, ref refractivity that the light Okay, so provides. what do we see? We see clarity? We can see clarity quantifiably? Clarity, darkness, and of course gloss. Yeah. And of course we're just seeing the computer showing the slides here. The actual machine sets above the paint finish, looks directly and sends a light source down to the paint finish and does all these readings you're talking about. That's, that's correct, Barry. It's pretty special. Let's look through it and, and give us some idea what takes place here. This is pretty cool stuff. This is a gloss slide. This is a darkness. Look at that. This Look is that. A, another way of showing darkness. And this is interesting. It shows scratches, scratches as a Scratches imperfections in the paint finish. And then, of course, water beating. Water beating. Yeah. We'll, we'll have other sessions where we can go into each one of these subjects. I love this slide. Now, if I understand it correctly, this top frame shows us an untreated finish or the typical car finish that we'd see out in the streets. Today. And then we treated it with two different products. Okay, this s slide right here shows that very surface being treated with a product that, I dare say, says it's better than Meguiar's. Now, there's always products that are claiming that they're better than Meguiar's. It seems like every year there's one, there's one now making a lot of noise saying, we're better than Meguiar's. Well, this is that product, folks. And look at it. It removed... Maybe half the imperfections or something. But well, there's actually a 36% improvement in the finish for scratches. Oh, just removed. more or less, 36%, yeah. <laughs> okay. But beside that, we have Meguiar's Next Generation Tech Wax, and the improvement is? It is a huge 98% improvement in it. 98%. Can it get any better than that? And that is almost as flawless as you can be on a paint finish. <laughs> look, at, I mean, look at the difference. This almost looks untreated. And this is the product, folks, that's claiming they're better Meguiar's. You've seen the frustration that I have through the years. Okay, let's go. Go to the next one right quick. <laughs> this is a gloss mapping spectrum uh, analysis of two products side by side. In the middle, you'll see the untreated area, which is the blue color, which represents the low gloss. Okay, the cooler the color, the lower the gloss. Correct. Hotter the color, the higher the gloss. Right? Yes, and hot in this case is red. Yeah. Because that represents the other sure. end of the spectrum. So here again, we have this competitive product, better than McGuire's, <laughs> sitting here in the lab. And forgive me, but I'm having fun with this <laughs> because this is absolute proof of the comparison in our products. Look at that left side. What are we seeing here? The left side, you can obviously can see that the product has ununiform uh, dispersion of gloss, which in essence brings out streaking and other negative type of connotations that we would never have in Even our Even where it's showing red, there's imperfections all the way through the red where there is gloss, it's not a, it's not a saturated gloss. And then it, you can see streaking here. I mean, this that product actually streaks, so you have variations of gloss on the, on the one panel that's being treated with that product. Folks, this is the product that says they're better than Meguiar's. Look at the comparison between these two. And then, of course, on the other side, we have this total hot surface. That you look at the uniformity. <laughs> That's correct. And we're really proud to be able to have a product with the help of this machine to develop a great product like the Next Generation yeah, Tech so Wax. This, folks, this is what I'm talking about. We talk all the time about having a show car perfect paint finish. We say it. I mean, words are cheap. A lot of people say great things. There it is. I mean, you can't change the evidence here. So we can't make that camera see something different. This is exactly the truth. This is live data, and the, and the data that we have is factual. It cannot be altered in any way. Gary, I, I love this piece of equipment. This proves that the product's even better than we say it is. We don't like to make too strong a promises, but pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Got to tell you, it warns my heart. Thanks, Gary.
I started off this three-part series by saying that I represent three generations of Meguiar's and a company full of car guys that are obsessed with creating show car perfect paint finishes. And sometimes I have to shake my head at companies who claim that they have better products than Meguiar's. In the coming weeks, we'll have more of these training videos to help you achieve show car perfect results on all the surface of your